There's a bite. Good one. Oh my god, nice one, dude. Oh my god, it's a giant. <laughs> it's a pig. That's a freaking pig. Dude, just, it barely hit it, too. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, it was like a little bluegill hit. Look at the colors on him, man. Wow, that's crazy. Nice little three and three quarter pound fish. I'm gonna go back in the water. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this bass. He's good. Oh, no, he's good. That was sick. Fishing all morning with basically little to no success and finally got my first substantial bite and fish of the day. This is what it came on. A straight up black jig, flipping jig, it's 3 8 ounce with a chigger craw trailer. I'm going to talk more about how I caught that fish in a little bit, but uh, in the meantime I'm going to get back there, flip some more reeds and hopefully catch one twice its size. Oh dude, I saw that. Ray with a nice On spring board. bass. I was like watching him cast and I saw his line. Yeah, as soon as I hit, hit the water and just cranked it a few times. Oh, took it. Well, I know there's bigger ones. <laughs> yeah. show me. Yeah. <laughs> cool. God, it got hot. Dude. Oh my. <laughs> I watched him eat it. I watched him eat, the, put the whole thing in his mouth. What happened? I don't know how he missed that. There's one. Good one. Good one. Stop and start. I was just pumping it. It's not giant, but it's solid. Oh, of course, he's going to put me in the reeds. Dude, that's a pretty good one. He's just way out there. Just got another one, about a, about two pounds, maybe a pound and three quarters. Nice little fish though on the chatterbait. Two completely different tactics. The jig bite kind of died down, kind of lost our wind, so I decided to throw the chatterbait for a little bit, and uh, not a not a bad fish. There's one. Good one. Good one. No, it's not that good. Oh, it's okay. It's not bad. Quick release. <laughs> Dude, it was fighting like a chunk. Oh, jeez. There he is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Smoke that chatterbait. The uh, little guys really seem to be keyed in on this chatterbait. A lot of times in the spring, you have males that are super aggressive and are generally more aggressive than the females and they'll hit baits like lipless cranks, chatter baits, and uh, square bells. Nice little squeaker. They were on this and they weren't on this and then... Got one? Ray's got one. Decent one? Looks pretty solid. Oh yeah, that's a good, that's a good fish. On the jig? Yeah. Well, finesse jig. Dude, look at the colors on them. They're so healthy. Oh, wow, it's a tiny jig. Yeah, yeah, that's that tightrope jig that I was telling you about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every fish in here has been, the color has been crazy. Yeah. Okay, the uh, day's coming to an, a near end. We're going to try that little cut over there. Hopefully, look for that one big bite on a jig or a chatterbait. But uh, it's kind of slowed down. We lost our wind, so we're kind of losing our bite. <laughs> it looks nasty. How big? I didn't see it. Oh, it's solid. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's like three or four. Maybe you're quiet about that. I just looked over and you got one. Nice. That's a solid chunk right there. Bad. Dude, I'm just... That's bad. Oh, what is that deal? I have a lot of luck with that thing. I barely bust it out when I go pond hopping. <laughs> awesome.
There's one. Can't tell. Nah, little guy. Chatterbait strikes again, right at the corner of the mouth. Oh! Yeah? Dude, you always gotta one-up me. Please tell me that's like a six. Please tell me that's like a six. Oh, it's solid. Spinnerbait? Dude, that's bigger, isn't it? He's still on. Dude, this is intense. That one hook, I can't believe that. Still, yeah, nice fish on that crank again, man. Whew. Look at that. They must be eating it too. Just there. barely hooked, but stayed pen. Yeah. Is that like a discontinued bait? Do they still make those? I don't know if they still make them. It's hard to find. It's all I got it on two dub. It's like a perfect color too. Yeah. Let's take a look at that fish again. Very nice. Good fish, man. Cool. End of the day right now. It's getting kind of late, and uh, we've got some other stuff to do today, but. Had an awesome time, you know, we expected to go at Three Oaks, go to a really clear water lake and uh, put a hurting on some jerkbait smallmouth. Ended up fishing shallow at one of these local ponds around here. I'd say our best five probably went close to, you know, 15, 14 pounds. And then you want to say about today, as far as the bite goes, what you did necessarily? I know what you did at the end. You smoked me with that crankbait. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I really thought that the, uh the chatterbait was gonna work, work well here. I mean, got a couple bites, but they were small. The bigger fish came from the crankbaits. Lipless. And your, uh, your jig. jig that one. Fish. Yeah, that one. Caught one fish on the jig, and uh, it was probably the right fish to catch on the jig. Had fun, probably gonna be doing some more videos in the future, right? Yeah, definitely. Getting out. I mean, it's just the beginning of spring. We just had a thaw about a week ago, about a week and a half ago, right? Dude, it's, it's mid-March. Yeah, this is crazy, <laughs> this is crazy stuff. Just made it back home. I realized that during this entire episode, I was wearing my Carhartt shirt inside out. So that's great. Other than that, I really briefly want to touch on some of the tactics and the tools that I was using in today's video. So uh, here's what I was using. Okay, so these are the two rod and reel setups that I was using the most today and that got the most action. The one left right here is kind of like my heavy setup. This is a Cousins Tackle, IM8, 734 FPT, um, I believe it is. Yep, nailed it. This is a flipping stick, um, not necessarily a flipping stick, like punch and stick, but it's great for fishing brush, fishing heavy reeds, uh, medium amount of grass, nothing too super heavy. Paired with this, I'm, I've got a Daiwa reel. Yeah, I know, this is crazy. I'm using a Daiwa reel. I know I did that video where I quote unquote bashed Daiwa, but that was mainly for some of their higher end JDM reels with ridiculous names. The Tula is a reel that I've actually been wanting to try for quite some time, so I picked up the new Tatula CT. Great reel, I like it a lot. Drag is solid, this is in a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio, right-handed model, and on this I've got spooled up 20 pound Seeger and Vizx line. Heavy duty stuff for heavy duty cover. And then a little jig I was using with this setup is uh, probably one of my favorite flipping jigs of all times. It's uh, All Terrain Tackle. They make some pretty solid jigs. This is their flipping jig, really. You'd think with a flipping jig you'd want like a half ounce, a quarter ounce, three quarters ounce, but this is a three eighths ounce. I was fishing super shallow water. I, I caught that, you know, three, three and a half pounder in essentially a foot to maybe a foot and a half or even less. Um, and you don't need something too heavy. You want that bait to fall kind of slowly if you're fishing shallow water. What really makes this jig unique is the fact that it's all black skirt, it's got one rattle, and it's got like the world's beefiest hook on. I mean, you could really do some damage with this hook. I've got this paired up with a Berkley Power Bait 3 inch trigger crawl, black and blue. I got a mosquito on my face. All around, solid setup. I, I don't think I changed much about this rod and reel. It performed very nice today. Only missed one fish on this, uh, this stick combo. Other than that, love it. The rod in my right hand is the one that probably did the most damage as far as numbers go. I've hooked a lot of decent fish, missed a few. I don't think it was the right rod for the situation, but it worked pretty good today. This right here is a Cousins Tackle IM8. The model is a GMB 703 PT. This is, like I said, one of my favorite rods. It's like it's like the all-purpose rod. It's a it's a solid rod though. It worked pretty good on most of the fish. I think I was like maybe maybe like 
10 for 15 today, which really isn't that bad. I don't even know if I caught that many fish, but I just made up that number. Uh, the reel that I've got here is my Shimano Scorpion. This is the left-handed model. It's a 7.31, sorry, 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. And I've got 15 pound Seeger in Vizex. So the bait that I was fishing on the setup is a Z-Man chatterbait. I'm not especially sure in what model Z-Man this is, but it's one of their less expensive ones. Awesome little rod and reel setups that I was using today. I uh, had a lot of fun. Huge shout out to Ray for showing up and filming with me. It's not often that I get to fish with someone else I'm filming. So that was a real treat. If you guys are interested in checking out his channel, always uh, leave a link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this channel has continued to grow over the past couple of months, and I have you guys to thank for that. As always, good fishing, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fishing the Midwest.